Hey guys, just making this quick video. Um, I didn't think I, I I didn't think I shared this before, but um, you know, as you guys know, I like to mod printers. Um, so I I know I got a lot of questions about um, the X5 SA in terms of how I mount the fan duct, um, and um, how how do I manage to get all these different cool fan ducts to mount on there? So. I thought about this a while I was going to share it, but you know, the Facebook group is not the best place to put information. For some reason, they seem to be very apprehensive when I kind of share um, some of the mods. You think they will want to know about these things, but, um, but I digress. Either way, this is for those who don't mind um, making their printer better, okay? Um, if you're already satisfied with your printer, cool, but if you want it better, this is a video for you. Now, in order to, I didn't like the stock cooling, first and foremost of the X5 SA. So I, I wanted to mod it to accommodate some of the cool, some of the nice fan ducts, some of the fan ducts that allow better, for better cooling, um, lighter, to allow for a BMG extruder, maybe a Titan extruder for BL touch. Basically, I wanted a mount that, that does it all, basically or a mount a fan duct of my choosing, right? But the X5SA is not necessarily really supported when it comes to fan duct. Unlike the Creality machines, the CR10s, you know, your Ender 3, Ender 3 Pro, uh, um, the Ender 5, those uh, X carriage are all supported. There's a ton of fan ducts out there that support them. Um, so um, I had to think what's the best way to mesh both worlds without necessarily uh, destroying my carriage, right? Or necessarily um, cutting it into something or uh, damaging something, right? And so I thought for the longest while, <clears throat> and then hit me that to look at the spacing between the carriage on the X5SA and X5SA Pro and the Ender 3. And wow, they actually line up. I guess it's it's universal. I guess it's the spacing might be universal. I'm not saying every printer might have the spacing like that, but in this case, the spacing certainly seem universal. So, to demonstrate, basically, this is your typical X5 SA, X5 SA Pro carriage, right? And this is your your standard Ender 3 Creality style carriage, right? So what you do is you basically remove these. Um, these standoffs right because so we're gonna go ahead i'm gonna try to give you um a live demonstration as best as possible what i did you can use anything to remove these mounts i'm just gonna use this that i got um you can remove these mounts so we're gonna go ahead try not to clip my finger here yep try it from the side okay there we go we're gonna go ahead and remove these standoffs okay because they're gonna be in the way and go ahead and remove this Okay. All right, standoff are now removed. Now what you wanna go ahead and do is, if you look at the Creality mount, you notice something is missing. What you wanna do is you wanna cut, cut that bracket that is used to hold the belt in place on a Creality machine, right? That little bracket that the, your belt goes into, you wanna cut that, okay? Get it get as cut as flush as possible, um, and, cause we're not gonna need that. And basically what you're gonna try to do is mount this as you can see i'm not i'm going to try to line it up and show you that the holes line up exactly but the benefit is 
you still can have your end stop. So if you're having the end stop switch, your end stop switch can still fit here. Now you can use a little adapter that the end stop sits on to raise it above this so that way it's not necessarily, the connection don't necessarily hit this. But what you might have to do, I think the typical end stop come with a little PCB connection. You might have to cut that PCB, I basically cut off the end stop itself and solder two wires to the, the correct leads and then mount it directly on here, okay? So that will work. So basically, this is what I do in order to, to basically use the Creality mount. So you get the benefit of using the Creality mount on top of your standard carriage because you don't want to get rid of the carriage, right? Because the carriage has the mounts for the belts. So all this does is just sit back here, sit on top of the main carriage, right? So you can use all the Ender 3 fan duct without it interfering with your end stop, and um, with the X end stop switch. Um, and then you still can route your belt. Now, the reason for the spacing, the reason for these washers, okay, is to give, it's for two things. The washers give you some clearance for when you, you know, there's gonna be some mounts that use these two screw holes. The washer is to give you some clearance that when you put the screws in, it doesn't, uh, hit the back of here too much and then start pushing it up um, pushing it out right so it's to give you some clearance there but also the washer gives you clearance to run your cable still so that you don't want it all the way on it and then you can't put your 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 um your belt in right so the washer give you that much little bit of a clearance so you can still run your belt and everything is all clear so that's how it is so to show you that it actually does work i'm just going to go ahead and kind of like demonstrate for you now i'm using thin washers you might need to use two washers just to make up for that that difference in thickness so so i'll kind of show it for you how it works so you take this and you just use the stock screw that comes with the carriage on here you don't have to get no extra screws just use a stock screw and that should be long enough to accommodate for it so Take a washer, I wanna say two. So you see, see, as you can see here, you want a washer to be slightly above this, right? Cause when you put, like I said, if you put a screw in here, you don't want a screw protrude and hit the back of the outer carriage and brace and cause a brace, right? So you just want it, um, so you wanna use a washer as a way to give some room for you to put screws all in here, uh, screw all in. So, um, we're gonna get another washer here. Now it's set of two. Now you can you can do three washers if you need more space. Like I said, you're not gonna lose a lot of print uh, print area. You're barely using, you're maybe losing maybe one millimeter or two millimeter of print area. By doing this, you're really not losing much. The only way you lose a lot is depending on the fan duct you mount, the type of fan duct you use, but you're not losing much print area doing this. Um, so yeah, so I'm just using two two um, bolts for now, but you can use three. Um, you can use a, a third bolt down here. But essentially, you do this, you connect like that, and there you go. And it mounts perfectly, as you can see. And then it goes into the uh, it goes into your your wheels, and then the, your your the other um, tension at the back, and it works fine. So. Like I said, I just want to demonstrate that you can still, like you can mount literally the end of three carriage on top of the um, X5 SA slash X5 SA Pro carriage and mount all the end of three fan ducts and still got room for your end stop and still got space to put in your, your, um, your run your belt. Also, be careful that the type of fan duct you use. Some fan ducts are tall, some fan ducts are, are, are low be careful what you use because remember you still have your drag chain back here now what you can do what i did the fan duct i have comes all the way up a little so if you're using a bmg extruder it might hit this it might literally hit this so and you won't be able to kind of uh put the filament in, uh filament in at the top of the bmg extruder because the um the tensioner knob is going to be facing this so what I did to help that was to bend this back a little bit. So I kind of took a, a pliers, bend this back a little bit to about maybe like 45 degrees. Um, the belt, the, the drive chain is gonna tilt a little bit, but that's fine. 
and then you can mount and um, that will give you enough clearance to mount a BMG type of fan duck or anything like that. So, um, so just keep in mind, just choose your fan duck wisely. If you don't want to bend this, just choose a fan duck that don't come as high as this and you're good to go. Or just do the fan duck that protrudes out versus protrude at the top um, and that will help. So this is the mod, easy, easy, easy mod. Again, you can run pretty much all the the the, the end of three fan ducks, the Creality style design fan ducks and Thingiverse. Super easy mod. Again, you can get this on Amazon for like maybe twenty bucks. I know they were going cheaper, twelve, fifteen dollars. It's pretty cheap to get this, um, and then it's just an easy mod, guys. Like it's a no-brainer to do this. So instead of just struggling and trying to design for the actual X5 SA carriage, just put the end of three carriage on there since there's so much ducks available and boom voila it's easy done so i just wanted to share that with you guys um i don't know um I, I don't know if i've shared this before but yeah this is this is the way to go for this um <laughs> i'm pretty sure a lot of people are running up doing this now like i said it's super easy it just give more potential to the to the tronxy corks y again the, the the machine has a lot of potential if you just take your time out to mod it properly it can do some crazy stuff as you can see in the last video guys i posted how fast i'm able to print with it and again i'm using a creality style uh fan duct that's made for creality carriage and it works amazingly well so um i just want to share that with you guys like it share it post it remember to like and subscribe there's more videos coming guys i have a video to post um as well today about the update on the switch wire dual color build so um, stay tuned for that. But I just wanted to post this quick video for those who have an X5SA, X5SA Pro, that this is an easy mod to run an Ender 3 style carriage on top of the X5SA carriage. So that way you can use any of the Ender 3 fan duck on Thingiverse and such and such. So yeah, guys, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.